<laughs> so speaking of the stunts, um, tell us a little bit about how you got involved with Jurassic Park. That must have been a very intimidating stunt performance to have to do. You know, um, we didn't know we were making Jurassic Park. Really? We didn't, we didn't know it was Jurassic Park. You know, it was, just, <laughs> it was a movie with dinosaurs. And the dinosaurs we saw were like little, you know, so Gary Himes, who's our stunt coordinator, um, would, he, had a, he had a cloth bag. And in the bag, he had matchbox cars and little like dinosaur toys. And he would say, okay, Pat, you're in the Jeep here. And here comes the dinosaur. <laughs> Here's the act. Boom, it's going to hit the Jeep. With the, and then you do this thing. And so we go, okay, cool. And then, and then we go and shoot them. We didn't know. It was right. like charades. But you we did know, know you were working for Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg, yeah. That to me, that was uh, I was flipping okay. out because he he was in the he was in the camera truck and I'm in the the hero vehicle, which means the vehicle being shot, right? That's the one that's on camera, the hero vehicle. So I'm in that the Jeep with the stunt guys driving it. The stunt guy who was playing injured, um, um, in um, oh fuck, what's his name? Oh my god, I love him, Jeff Goldblum. He's being uh. injured, Jeff Goldblum. And the other guy's driving, and I'm doubling Laura. And um, Stephen goes, "Okay, Pat." Or he's on the mic, you know, going, "All right, then what we do is here's here's number one." So they had the the T Rex was a, a stick about I don't know 15, 18 feet long. It was metered off black, white, black, white. At the very top was a big disc, a cardboard white disc with a happy face and teeth drawn on it. <laughs> that was the T Rex. And so he said, it, when I say one, you're, you're looking up here, and they put the stick, and then they said, when, you're, when I say two, and then they lowered the stick and said, okay, that's your number two mark, with it, that's the head of the T-Rex. And when, he's, when on three, the explosion is going to hit the, the door of the Jeep, and you're going to just react to that, you know, as that was no big deal, because obviously you're going to react to an explosion at your leg, you know, sure, so man. I'll look at the right place at that point. So that's what it was. I mean, we take off and he's shouting, okay, Patty, one, two, you know, <laughs> at that. And so when we went to the movies and we went to the theater to see it, there was no screening. <laughs> we just went to the movies. And I remember when they just, the, the beginning's playing out and then they finally get to Jurassic Park and they finally drive out and they find the big pile of poo and they're going, wow, that's going to be a big animal to make that much poo or something. And then all of a sudden we see this field of brontosauruses and, and little ostrich sized ones. And every, and all, I was sitting with a whole bunch of people in the crew. And we all went, <laughs> I mean, just like everybody in the audience. Just, Holy shit, wow, had we known, but we didn't, we had no idea. When I was in the rotunda at the end, at the end of the big culminating scene and the T-Rex comes in and he's gonna chomp on all the good guys and then the raptors come down and there's the scaffolding stuff happening. That was a very gnarly day. But the, when, when we were there rehearsing, there were some guys in the raptor suits. So they had, you know, they had the team with the um, uh, animatronics on some of the raptor heads. And these poor dudes were inside those suits, which are practically seamless. And they had they had some way they could breathe and they had an earpiece in and they would take direction, but they were completely blind and their arms are pinned to their sides. And the head of the actual uh, raptor is, you know, three feet above them and the, uh, the uh, the, there were guys, uh, there's wires coming out the bottom of the costume and there's guys with the little remote control, just like they do with games. You know, they're, they're controlling the eyelids and the little movements. And then the um, guy in the suit would listen to his cues and be cued to take a step forward, bend down. And then the animatronics would bring the head up under the plastic and then start to look around, you know, so the head's doing all this. It was fascinating, but it was, it, it was really interesting because the, the guys in the suits are just wearing Nikes. They're not wearing, they're not wearing dinosaur feet. They're just wearing <laughs> Nikes. Nike, <you> know? <laughs> and so all those shots where you see the raptor and you're really looking at the raptor's head, a lot of that is, are the animatronic puppetry, especially in the first Jurassic Park, it's gone on and changed since the, what are, the, what are we on now, five? 
the but the um, any of the feet shots, those are obviously those are uh, CGI. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 